afternoon. I'm gonna set this router up. It says that it's your Talk Talk Wi-Fi hub, but it's mine actually, and Isabel's. In other news, I have my boyfriend coming over today and I've got loads of washing up to do. Ugh, look at it all. Right, I'm gonna sort that out now before I do anything else. I'm nearly done, I'm listening to Portuguese again. Whenever I watch Portuguese telly, like it's going good and then it goes on to football. <laughs> it always happens. And then I change the channel and then like, you know, it's a different topic for a bit and then it goes on to football. And so I just keep channel hopping to try and escape football. Anyway, I've done most of the washing up. I'm just gonna do my surfaces and Isabel's just popped out. I've sent her off to go and get us some recycling bags, which she's able to do. She's able to go and collect them from somewhere, which is fresh air so she doesn't have to go in. Today's vlog experiment, by the way, for the benefit of my vloggy friends, is I've put a tissue on my light here to try and diffuse the light a bit because it's a bit harsh actually. It has an inbuilt diffuser, but it's just, I don't know, it's quite harsh. So this is kind of doing the job of the net curtain on the window. And uh, I don't know whether that's gonna work or not, but I'm trying it today as an experiment. And as you can see, it is stuck on with a trusty elastic band. Very high tech in this household. Right then, I have washed up. The surfaces are clear. Ooh, and that just shook the camera. And here we are, time to get this thing open. Got a return label. It says here, how to return your equipment. Be a recycle hero. They've made it easy for us to return any faulty or old talk talk equipment, presumably for recycling. Well, I'm all for recycling, so that's good. Oh, it's a bit bigger than I'm gonna need it to be. Stick on label and a bag for that. Right, let's put that out of the way. So don't need that for the moment. This is what I do need though, the setup guide. So what's in the box? Ooh, first time looking in here. Oh, looks like a new, I don't know, Lego set or something. So this is what we've got in the box. We've got the Talk Talk Wi-Fi hub. That's the main thing. The broadband cable and micro filter, power supply, setup guide, Wi-Fi settings card, detach from back of router, added extras, ethernet cable, extra micro filter. Start here if you have a standard phone socket, start here if you have a pre-filtered phone socket. I don't even know what that is. I think I've got a standard. I'm going to go and have a look. That looks pretty standard to me. Well, I'm going to start out following these instructions. I'm assuming that that is that. It says DSL on it. So that's what I'm going to go and plug into my phone socket. Oh, darling daughter is back. This is not my favourite bit. Scrambling about, getting into very uncomfortable positions that you normally wouldn't, you know, doing contortion. Right, I'm going to try and plug this into the thing. Oh, oh my word, that is the most inaccessible part. See, I'm gonna have to put the Wi-Fi off, love, okay? Remember to send this message, she's into that college. <laughs> what, turn the Wi-Fi off? No! Ooh. We sent it yet? She's just typing. You can do it on your data. Are you done? Yeah, I just sent it. Great. Out with the old. Yay, I've got it in. Phase one complete. Next, stick the end of that big long lead into that second hole along in the back of the router. That means it's time to get this out. Mm. Oh, it's got a hingy thingy on it. Oh, very handy. Oh yes. Pull up for password says on there. Oh, I see. I mean, I can't show you my password, obviously, but you know, normally, like when you need to get the password off somebody's router, they have to sort of get into uncomfortable positions looking around the back of the router sometimes, depending on where it is. Well, with this one, there's an actual rectangle of plastic and you can pull it up and pull it out and the information is on there with all the stuff you need for logging on. I'm going to go and plug this in now. Okay, now it's time to plug in the plug. It goes in there. Where it says broadband. Oops, 
Right, what's next? Uh, like there's a phone bit, but I don't have a phone, so I won't be using that. Number four, slide the plug into the slot on the power adapter. The plug? What plug? Ah, oh, that plug. Okay. Oh, it's a funny looking thing, isn't it? Never seen one like that before. Let's line it up so it's all the same as the diagram. That's showing that it goes in that motion. So let's do that. Oh yeah, that was easy. Step number five, insert the power cable into the router and the plug into the wall. Turn the switch on. Well, it won't be going at the wall because I have it going off an extension. It's got a big wire thingy on it. I should have done that before, shouldn't I? Ugh, get off, get off. That presumably goes there where it says power. That would be kind of obvious, wouldn't it? Good. Okay, what's next? I'm presuming at this stage we simply turn it on. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yes, push the power button on the back. A white LED light on the front tells you it's on. A blinking amber light tells you it's still connecting. Ooh. Where's the light then? Oh, there's an amber light. Oh, it's flashing. Just like it said it was going to. Last bit, really. Keep your router upright and facing into the room for the best signal. Do not place the router on its side, as it will block the Wi-Fi signal. Well, there we are. Here are the recycling bags that my daughter has very kindly got for me. These two, they're like the same. You put your paper and card in one, plastic glass tin in the other. These are small food waste bags for, you know, your food waste. And these are the big ones, so you put all the small bags when they're full into the big one in the wheelie bin outside. Given that IB is turning up very soon, in 15 minutes, I'm just going to quickly heat up a tin of soup and have it with a roll for my lunch. This is lunch, just a bit of bread, tiny bit of cheese there that I had left over. I didn't get around to opening the new packet, so I'm just having a little bit. I've made it out with my boyfriend! And guess what? It's raining! As always, that's Wales for you. But never mind, it could be worse. Yeah, it's been wet, it's wet. Very, very wet. And we've got the beast from the east coming. Did you know that, Ibi? Uh, yep, yeah, I read it in the news I today. It could get any worse. Apparently it can. We're getting icy blasts coming over from Russia, uh, which is going to bring a big chill around the middle of next week. Brilliant. I know. I knew you'd be pleased. Yeah. Uh, the beast from the east. I do believe it has stopped raining. As soon as I did that, I had a big splot of rain come down from a tree. Went right by my eye. There. It quite Hasn't quite stopped. No, it's, it's coming off the trees. Yeah. Ah, wow. not been up this way, have we? This far. I've been up this far, but you haven't. You've my bee's on a mystery track. tour. Hmm? You've been down this track. Yeah. Was the one I asked you where it went. I know I had I thought you meant somewhere else. I didn't realise you meant to get on this path in the first place. I thought you were talking about a completely different path. Oh. Which is why I said well it doesn't go any further. It's blocked off. Well there's a different path, that's why. Oh. 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 Do you know I'm just talking to IB through the camera. <laughs> I just did a great big um, wide berth around this group of people that was on the path, as you might have seen IB, oh, but not they didn't. And uh, when this pandemic first started, it felt so rude to give people a wide berth, you know, get right off the path and walk in the mud to put two metres between you and them. Felt so rude. Now it feels like an act of politeness. Uh, unusual. To me. <laughs> Probably not to anybody else, but to me it certainly does. As you can see, we're back from our walk now and I'm making IB and I a cup of tea each. I'm remarkably dry considering it rained almost the whole time we were out. We are gonna probably go down in the cellar and play some tunes now. And then I'm gonna cook dinner, usual sort of pattern really. Mm. We're having a sneaky snack, oh my gosh. IB is eating it straight out of the bowl like a doggy. <laughs> Held up to his mouth. Cause he's too impatient to do it the slow way. Oh, I'm not sure if people in America know what Bombay mix is. It'll probably quite something else. Maybe. 
are you American and do you call this Bombay mix? Do you call it something else or do you just not have it at all? It's basically, it's like these kind of noodly things but they're crunchy and cooked. Just demonstrating the chewing of it. Um, they're made from gram flour, so chickpea flour, with a bit of maize flour, potato, starch, that sort of thing. And they're kind of spicy, they've got salt, chilies, caraway seeds, cumin seeds, sodium bicarbonate, peanuts, mm -hmm. nom, 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 and lentils, which are all, you know, dry roasted kind of thing. Oops, oh, I dropped it. Mm -mm. What else? Um, chickpeas. Oh, yes, whole chickpeas in there as well, floating around somewhere. Can't find any at the moment. Um, and oil and spices. Very nice. It's like a salty bar snack, isn't it? To go with beer. going to go up and cook Izzy and Ivy's dinner now. If you've enjoyed today's video please give it a like, it really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!